The CenterCut team at Hypertherm has developed a two-piece quick disconnect torch that incorporates proven Hypertherm technology to deliver excellent performance, improved productivity, and high reliability for your Caliburn Spirit, Spirit 2, and ProLine 150 to 400 amp cutting systems. The detachable torch head makes changing and inspecting consumables quick and easy. The cut settings for the center cut torch are the same as those for Caliburn Spirit, Spirit 2, and ProLine cutting systems. This video gives you step-by-step -step instructions for installing your new CenterCut Quick Disconnect Torch. For an easier installation, make sure you have the necessary tools on hand. You will need 9 64 and 3 16 hex wrenches, a 3 8 7 16 and 1 half inch open end wrench, a crescent wrench or adjustable wrench, spanner wrench, and a strap wrench, and any standard tools that you use to remove the torch clamp. You will also need the nozzle and electrode removal tools that came with your Caliburn system. You can reference the Field Service Bulletin for the CenterCut Quick Disconnect Torch Upgrade for a complete list of tools and instructions. A torch upgrade kit includes a torch head, a torch base, a plasma gas tube, insulation material, and a Field Service Bulletin. Before working on the plasma torch or system, be certain to safely disconnect gases, coolant, and power, and follow your company's safety guidelines for system maintenance. The first step is to remove the current torch. Measure the distance from the bottom of the torch clamp to the tip of the assembled torch. The distance should be the same after installing the new torch. If you are replacing a Caliburn quick disconnect torch, remove the lower torch body from the torch base, as you will be replacing only the Caliburn torch head with the center cut torch head. Disconnect the plasma gas hose from the plasma gas outlet on the two gang manifold, located at the top of the torch handle, also referred to as the mounting tube. Using a strap wrench, loosen the torch and then remove the torch from the torch clamp. Most torches are held in a pinch block that clamps onto the mounting tube. Unscrew the mounting tube from the back of the torch. Turn the mounting tube, not the torch, to prevent twisting of the hoses and wires that are attached to the torch. Slide the mounting tube out of the way to reveal the lead connections. Disconnect the following five connections from the back of the torch. Two wrenches may be needed to disconnect some fittings. Plasma gas, shield gas, pilot arc, coolant in, coolant out. All connections are standard right-hand thread except the coolant return connections, one with a long hose which is a left-hand thread as indicated by the notches on the fitting. Disconnect the shield sensor wire by grasping the plastic shells over the connectors and pull them apart. Remove the torch assembly and set aside. Remove the plasma gas hose and set aside. Now we're ready for the new torch installation procedure. Roughly align the new plasma gas hose to the other hoses, then feed the mounting tube over all of the hoses. Be certain that the threads of the mounting tube are facing toward the bottom. Install insulating material over the coolant in lead. This is the longest lead on the torch base. With the lower torch body detached from the torch base assembly, connect and hand tighten the hose fittings. Coolant in and coolant out. Plasma gas, shield gas. Remember that all connections are standard right-hand thread except the coolant return connections, which is a left-hand thread. Then, connect the pilot arc. Tighten each hose connection snugly using two wrenches. Do not over-tighten the hose connections and do not allow the fittings on the torch to twist, as this can cause damage to the torch inlet tubes. Slide the insulating material on the coolant inlead up over the exposed brass fitting. Connect the shield sensor wire. Slide the mounting tube down over the leads and screw it onto the torch base threads. Hand tighten by turning the mounting tube. Turn the mounting tube, not the torch, to prevent twisting of the hoses and wires attached to the torch. Notice that there is a weep slot for coolant buildup or condensation. Place the torch and mounting tube back into the torch clamp. Connect the plasma gas hose to the two gang manifold. Assemble the torch head with center cut consumables 
for Caliburn systems. Now attach the lower torch body to the torch base assembly and tighten the retaining ring. Set the distance from the base of the torch clamp to the front of the brass retaining cap. Be sure that this is the same distance as measured before the torch was removed. In order to easily mount the torch head to the base once installed, align the torch base in the torch clamp with the aligning mark facing forward. Tighten the torch clamp. Use a C-spanner or strap wrench to securely tighten the torch base in the mounting tube. Conduct your standard pre-cutting tests, including a gas purge to ensure all moisture has been removed. You are now ready to cut. Thank you for viewing this video. We appreciate your use of CenterCut products and hope you enjoy the ease of use and benefits of the CenterCut Quick Disconnect Torch for Caliburn Spirit, Spirit 2, and ProLine cutting systems.